Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is whatever time you hear. This is Largent Lodge, the home of our reptile house. And today we are going to see a couple of different animals that live here. Thanks for joining us. So friends, this is the big kahuna. He is called a Florida cooter, which means he's not originally from Michigan, but originally from down south just a little bit. Now he was he was bought as a pet and has been raised as a pet his entire life. Now you notice that he's not exactly coming out of his shell right now. I'm gonna put him down and hopefully he will come out. He's got some really really big webbed feet for swimming because he spends primarily most of his time in the water. Now Florida cooters are pretty big turtle species uh, compared to painted turtles and they're still eaten as food down in Florida occasionally. All right, this is Leo. He is a leopard gecko, and as a leopard gecko, he is from uh, Asia, some of the more deserted re regions. You might notice that his claws don't have the sticky portions most geckos do, and so he has eyelids, which is a little different than most geckos. He also has all of this nice bumpy skin that keeps him protected for staying on the ground in a, des in a desert environment. He can still use his tongue to lick his eyes, like other geckos, but he doesn't need to, because he has eyelids to help protect him from the sand. He also has this really big, fat tail, and that's where he stores a lot of extra fat. If Leo were really, really scared, he could lose that tail, uh, as a deterrent to predators. And the tail would wiggle a little bit, he would lose a lot of fat reserves, so he would only do that under very, very extreme circumstances. Right. This is Monty. He is a ball python. Ball pythons come from northern Africa. They've sometimes been referred to as royal pythons because when they were first discovered, they used to be taken right from the jungles and given to Egyptian pharaohs to wear as jewelry. These guys are very, very gentle, very, very good with people, and love being around things that are warm, which is people. You might notice that Monty has a bunch of shed coming off the sides of his neck. They just haven't shed all the way from his latest shed, but he has been around people so long that holding him like this is good. Um, it's not bothering him at all, and you can tell that it's not bothering him because he is trying to explore and wander all over the place. He doesn't look like he's coiled around or angry. You can tell that ball pythons are not venomous by looking at their eyes. Their eyes are round, and all snakes that have round eyes are not venomous. If you're looking at his eyes really closely, you might notice that they look just a little crusty. That's because he still has a little bit of shed over his eyes. Snakes don't have eyelids to protect their eyes. They use scales. You might also notice that Monty is using his tongue to sniff around. He's using that all, all over the place. He's using that to sense his environment by grabbing molecules from the air and rubbing them against the top of his mouth. This is on the top of his mouth. There's something called a Jacobson's organ, which you usually associate with snakes, but some lizards have it and cats have it as well. And that is our ball python, Monty.